probably about 30 in actual fact. But uh, she seemed a very elderly lady, you know. And um, uh, um, when we were evacuated, <coughs> we, we went under the... Um, the uh, What's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> uh, we went to, uh, in the care of uh, Miss Asley, who I believe was was mentioned on the other website that you do. The farmers, something is it? Oh, uh, Alan's Cross. Alan's Cross. Yeah. yeah. That was how we, I came to to uh, correspond with you in the first place because I happened to see her name, Miss Asley. And it mentioned that she'd become headmistress there. Well, to us, Miss Aslin was um, now, one down from God. You know, she she was one wonderful. One and um, when we were evacuated, we went with her and a Miss Stimson and Miss Aslin's mother, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, who was widowed at that time. Before you go on to talk about the, the evacuation, I've got one burning question. Yeah. Um, I, I spoke to one person uh, and they recalled um, an evacuation van going around, uh, a, a van with a big E on it, uh, and um, the, the person wasn't sure whether it was uh, actually something to collect the children or whether it was just transportation for the person organising e evacuation, but do you have any recollection of no. a, an evacuation van? No, no, no. I've never, okay. never heard of that. Okay, no, no problem. No. No problem. But yeah, you're, you're explaining the, the evacuation. <laughs> yes, <laughs> um, as I think I've, I've, I've put in the, the, the blog that I did, um, we were evacuated not because of the bombing per se, mm -hmm. but because a stray bomb happened to hit the pipeline right. uh, of the water coming up from the Eland Valley. Right, because right. Because it, uh, it um, meant that the water wasn't fit to drink and uh, it had to be boiled. Well, of course, it was very difficult with children. They, you know, they would still go to the tap and so on. Yes, yes. So they decided that they would... So it's done uh, on health grounds? On health grounds, yes. Right, yes. right. Um, but, uh, say, having got there, we stayed... Well, the majority of us stayed for um, about three years. Right. And I, I know that there's the reservoir um, just on uh, Rough Road. We, we, do you don't happen to know whether the, the bomb hits pipes sort of going? Oh no, no, no! no like it was way, the, way, uh, right, right. Uh, nowhere near Birmingham. Oh right, okay. Because the, like, there's a, the, the, the single pipeline that comes up from the Eland Valley, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, it it was way out, you know, before it got anywhere near Birmingham. Mm -hmm. Gosh. Yes, yes. I, I never did find out what that reservoir was for in uh, in Rough Road, actually, and of course it was it was totally covered. Yes. And um, so you know, I, I never really knew what what the function of it was. Right, right. And um, were many children evacuated? Was it sort of like your whole year from school, or? Um, I think it was uh, initially. I think I think that it it, it was the, the 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 whole year. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, well, difficult to put a, a figure on it. Yes, actually. yes. But, um, we, were, we were quite a sizable group. Right, right. And you, you all went off together. Yes. Sort of en masse. Yes, yeah. we went. Um, the I, I I didn't realise because but I I happened to see something that someone else had put uh, on the net on a different site altogether mm -hmm. uh, that we went from Castle Bromwich um, railway station. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We were taken by coach from school to Castle Bromwich, uh, went from there by train to Alfreton, and then we were bust from Alfreton to Ironville. Uh, uh, so, um, and I, uh, I could it must have been quite an adventure for a young person. It was. It was quite, uh, quite a daunting experience, really. As I say, uh, sort of standing there in the hall and people would come in and say, oh yes, I'll have that one and that one and... Uh, and I bet all the blonde, blue-eyed girls Oh, I'm sure first. they did, I'm sure they did, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, I, I landed on my feet, I, I had uh, very good um, accommodation and uh, I have very, very happy memories of my time there. Mm -hmm. I was quite devastated when I had to come home. Ironville, was, was that the, the place that you went to? Ironville, yes, yes, it's, um, I don't know quite where the dividing line was, but there was Ironville and Codner Park that were, were sort of both associated with each other, and um, it was uh, it, it was built by the Butterley Company. 
Right. Who later become, I think, better known for bricks. But in those days, it was um, it was iron uh, that, that, that they produced, and um, the uh, the whole village uh, was all that uh, all the men worked for the Butterley Company, mm-hmm. uh, and um, they were the main employer locally. Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, 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 and I guess you know it really you know it must have sort of shaped uh, people that you know went on this evacuation because I, I guess sort of previous like yourself you would have been just used to living in you know quite an urban environment in these new suburbs that yes. yeah. and so to you know sort of go and experience the co- the countryside. Oh yes, yes, you know, must yeah, have been yeah, sort yeah, of like absolutely. Quite yes, special. I mean, it was. Uh, there was loads and loads of fields and woods and so on. You know that we could. Uh, I mean. Having said that, we, I mean we we had got Sutton Park right on our doorstep, even in King Standing. Right. But um, we were even nearer to it uh, yes. in the Tyneville and uh, in Cardinal Park. Yes. Uh, and how long do you think you were you were there for? <coughs> About three years. Right. Mm, right. Yeah. Was it forty-two? You, you said you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think it must have been. Yes, right. Yes. Right. Yes. Because we were there up until we we did our eleven plus, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and. Um, then like, we had to make the decision as to whether we stayed at, in that area and went to uh, Swanwick High School, mm-hmm. which was a very good school, mm-hmm. uh, or come home and, and go to schools in, uh, in Birmingham. So I, my parents decided that I should come home and go to Central Grammar School. Right, so right. Uh, and, and I guess you, you must have been sort of like quite, quite sort of sad to leave after sort of like... Oh, you know, I was, sort of I was, I was quite, quite devastated, really. I, yes, yeah. I... Yeah, I I was very happy there. Had yeah. King Standing changed much you know, in, in, the, in the time? Not the really, no. No, no, no we had, it hadn't. No. Um, and of course, we uh, we had the Americans uh, in King Standing. Yes. Uh, that was a very high profile. Yeah, did you ever come across any of oh, the soldiers? Oh, loads and loads of them, yes. The, uh, cause the, the, the Fezia estate, you see, had just been built mm-hmm. uh, around the outbreak of...